Hey food lovers, it's your boy Knox and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making for you a classic Italian dish called spaghetti carbonara. So I got introduced to spaghetti carbonara during my trip to Italy in 2014 and I must tell you this is by far one of the best pasta dish I've had. So this is something that I enjoy making and I also enjoy eating and I want to share with you today a quick and easy version for you to make an authentic spaghetti carbonara. So let's get started. So all you need are a few ingredients. I've got here my pasta. So I'm using spaghetti, the dry spaghetti, which you can get from any grocery shop. I've got some eggs and some Parmesan, which I'll be using to make my creamy sauce. So most people do use thickened cream, but because I'm trying to stick to the authentic Italian way of making spaghetti carbonara, I'm actually gonna make my cream myself. So I'm using egg and Parmesan for this. And also I'm using um, pancetta, which is actually the most important ingredient here. As you can see from my cut here, so you have like a thick layer of fat, your meat and also your fat as well. So this is quite important because you want to use this fat from your pancetta to cook your pasta. And this also gives it like a really good carbonara flavor. You can use bacon if you want, but you wouldn't necessarily get that authentic Italian flavor for your carbonara. I've also got garlic and salt and pepper to enhance the flavor of my carbonara. All right, so to begin with, I'm gonna start cooking my pasta. So I've got my large pot of boiling water here. This pasta is gonna take about 12 minutes to cook. So what I'm gonna do here will be to just add some salt to my boiling water. So I'm just gonna add just a bit of salt to it. So I've got roughly about 200 grams of pasta and this should serve about two people. So I'm just gonna put that in there. All right, so while my pasta is cooking, I'm gonna start preparing my pancetta. So what I wanna do would be to slice my pancetta in strips. All I have to do is basically just cut it into this thickness. So you wanna get this sort of thickness and then cut it in strips. So you want to get a layer of your meat, your fat, meat and fat as well. So this is the sort of um, thickness and the length you want to get with your pancetta. So while I've got my strips all cut up, the next thing I'll be doing would be to mince a garlic. So I'm just going to crush it, chop it. Add a pinch of salt to it and then just mince it. All right, so that's my pancetta ready and my garlic ready. I'm just gonna check on my pasta because it's about 11 minutes. So you wanna cook your pasta till it's al dente, which means not fully cooked. So you still wanna have that bit of crunch when you bite into your pasta. So this is pretty good. Pasta is ready, it's al dente. It's not fully cooked. It's still slightly undercooked on the inside. And that's what I'm going for. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save some of my pasta juice and I'll be using this to cook my pasta later on. So I'm just going to scoop some of this. So this is my pasta juice. All right, so I've drained my pasta. What I'm going to be doing next would be to start cooking my pancetta. So I've got my saucepan here. So what I'll be doing would be to slowly cook my pancetta to release that fat and juice from my pancetta. So I'm not adding any oil to my saucepan. I'm just gonna put my pancetta straight in to this and let it slowly cook and release that fat. So you'd wanna cook these in a very low temperature and just let it gradually release the fat. So while my pancetta is cooking, I'm gonna start making my sauce. So I'll be using two whole egg and one egg yolk. So just to have that extra creamy texture from my yolk. Usually you could just use two eggs if you want, but I'm adding that extra yolk just to have that rich creaminess to my sauce. So just give this a whisk. So I'm just gonna put that in with my eggs. This recipe is very easy to make, really tasty, really creamy. The egg, the parmesan, 
gives you this smooth creamy texture in your carbonara which is what you want and then you've got your flavor from your pancetta as well which just gives you this really nice authentic Italian carbonara flavor so make sure you do give this recipe a go trust me you will like it and you're gonna thank me so now that my pancetta is beginning to crisp up what I would do now would be to add my minced garlic so I'm just gonna scoop that in there give it a stir So this looks good. What I'm gonna do next would be just to add my pasta. Add that in there. Give it a mix. Add some of my pasta juice in there. I'm gonna add some black pepper to this as well, just to give it that extra flavor just gonna add a bit of salt to that and so while that is cooking I'm just gonna add some of this pasta juice into my parmesan and my egg and just mix it till I have that creamy texture what I'll do would be to just add my sauce and slowly mix that and let that combine. So you wanna make sure you're cooking this in a very low heat and you also wanna make sure you've still got some sauce in your pasta because then you've got your egg here and you don't wanna end up with a, um, a scrambled egg. So you wanna cook this in a low heat, you've got your pasta water in there and just mix it gradually. So I'm just gonna pour that in. This is one of the creamiest pasta that you ever find and carbonara is one of those dish that you can never go wrong with when it comes to flavor and that's if it's made right it needs to be creamy it needs to be really lovely packed with lots of flavor there you go guys this is my classic spaghetti carbonara recipe let me know what you think about this in the comment section below if you enjoy watching this video please like subscribe and click the notification button as well to get updated on every single video i upload once again thank you see you later